Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Acer Spin 311 Chromebook. This is 11.6 inch and it's also a 2-in-1 touchscreen. Now let's go over the outside first, the build and the outputs. So what we have here is the plastic on top. We also have plastic on the bottom. What we have here is two speakers, one on each side. We also have these rubber stoppers. On the left side, we have the power button. We have USB-C, which is used for charging. You can also use it for display. We have USB Type-A, micro SD card expansion, headphone jack. And on the right side, we have Kensington lock slot, another USB-C, which is also used for charging, USB Type-A, and we have the volume up and down. So this Chromebook comes with the standard front-facing camera, which is one megapixel. We also have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is standard on all the Chromebooks. Acer Spin 311 Chromebook comes with three different variations of CPU. You can buy it with Intel 4020, you can buy it with MediaTek, or you can also buy it with AMD CPU, depending where you buy it. For. When it comes to those three different CPUs, you will probably end up getting the same kind of performance. Maybe there will be a little bit of difference, but on the regular day-to-day -day use, you will not notice, for example, if you have Intel or AMD. Now this Chromebook also comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty much standard for any budget Chromebook. Now let's talk about the screen next. This is 11.6 inch IPS display. It has the Gorilla Glass. This is also, as I mentioned, a touchscreen and two in one. So you can flip this around and use it as a tablet. Unfortunately, it's not detachable. So if you do flip it around, the keyboard will be on the other side. I will show that in a little bit. Now, when it comes to the screen, it's bright enough. Let me bump up the brightness. So if you end up using it outside, you will still be able to see the screen clearly. Now, since this is IPS display, it does have vivid colors and it does have pretty good viewing angles as long as you don't have anything bright inside the room. If you do end up like, as you guys can see, for example, my monitor, you will see those bright spots. But let's say, for example, you're using it at night and there's nothing bright the viewing angles become really, really good with this Chromebook. Next, let's talk about the keyboard. It has the standard keys like any other keyboard. It doesn't have numpad on the right side, but it does have the numbers on top. Now, when it comes to using it, it is clicky and I actually really, really enjoyed the keyboard. But just in general, if you're good with typing and know your keys, you're gonna be typing really fast on this one. Now, when it comes to the trackpad, it has the good size. It's about seven fingers wide. It doesn't have a lot of height because this is a smaller Chromebook, but I feel honestly, it's big enough. Now, when it comes to using it day to day, I didn't honestly enjoy it as much, to be honest. It just seems a little bit iffy and too plasticky for me. Now, don't get me wrong, it works fine. It will click wherever you want to click and your finger travels nice around as you guys can see. But just the plastic feel on it feels a little bit, at least for me, feels a little bit iffy. And I did have to adjust the settings. Now let's talk about the sound. It has those speakers on the bottom, one on each side. And I'm going to play you a clip. I have the volume all the way up. For me, speakers sound pretty good. They're clear and loud. So if you do end up using this for watching movies or watching a lot of YouTube videos, honestly, they're going to be really good for those needs. And when it comes to day-to-day -day use, I haven't experienced any issues. The CPU and four gigabytes of RAM and also the storage work 
perfectly for what I needed to do. I also had a couple games installed. I watched a lot of movies, but most of my stuff was on the internet. So I haven't really downloaded a lot of apps and stuff like that. So 32 gigabytes was enough for me. If you do end up using a lot of apps and games, you can also add SD card on the side. So it can be 32, 64, 128 gigabytes, and that will add additional storage. The next thing I wanted to show you is the tablet mode. I have a flip and also at the same time I wanted to show you gaming. So what I have here is the Fallout Shelter. This way I can show you how the touchscreen works and how the tablet mode works and also how the gaming is in general. So on the Google Play Store you will get a lot of those arcade games and since this is a touchscreen you will be able to play most of them. So here we go we have the Fallout Shelter. So all you have to do is pretty much just click on stuff and use it the same as, for example, a tablet. And it is very, very responsive, as you guys can see now. Let's see this. And now we're just going to drag her. And uh, let's see where we're going to add her. Let's add her here. And as you guys can see, this is a very smooth playing game. So games like this, you will be able to play with ease. And now you can also put this together so you can use it as a tablet. Now I have it in my hand. So just imagine how many games you can play like this. So if you ever use a tablet, you will get pretty much the same experience. Now the keyboard is on behind, so it is a bit heavy. I believe it's close to three pounds, maybe even over three pounds and you will also have a lot of that thickness in your hands honestly it works fine i haven't had any issues i think it works best if you're for example in a couch and you have this placed in your lap so you're not holding the weight if you end up holding the weight the whole time your hands will be in a lot of pain after 30 minutes but as long as you have some place to lay this down for example your knees or your legs you will be fine using it like this all right, so that was my review of the Acer Spin 311 Chromebook. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.